Hi guys, in this video I would like to, to show you how to install React operating system. This is Linux based operating system with support for uh, FAT file system and uh, supposed to be uh, installed and run like uh, Windows. Uh, the main feature of this operating system is to accept uh, Windows like uh, drivers and uh, software with uh, exe extension. Uh, if this work in practice, now, now we will try. Uh, okay. I chose to boot from this CD DVD drive. Enter like in Windows. Press any key to boot from CD. Press Enter. loading boot drivers this is a message from my LCD now you have blue screen react OC uh, 0 0.4 setup choose your language English United States enter press enter to install press R to repair Press L to view React also license terms. F3 to quit without installation. This is like in Windows HP. Press Enter to continue. Enter. Second window, Enter to install React OC. F3 to quit. Enter to install. Accept. Enter. And uh, to know that uh, this operating system support only FAT uh, file system. Go to Enter. Format partition as FAT file system. My recommendation to you is to not format with full formatting, but with uh, quick because uh, full formatting is uh, taking too long. Enter. Enter to continue. Just press Enter. And Windows like Install Manager. Okay, now just press install bootloader on the hard disk MBR and VBR and enter. Press enter to reboot your computer. To re now you can remove your CD, boot CD and continue to reboot into the system. This is how it look booting. Okay, just pressed next. I like to say that uh, keyboard and mouse uh, are recognized doing to install, which is good. GPL licensing, next. You can customize your language and so on, regional language option, keyboard layout. Here you have plenty of choice. 
just next type your name or organization go to next if you want to have password next adjust time and date next When you click finish, your computer will restart. Okay, if you have CD, remove. I already do that. Now we can go to finish. This is the boot menu. Just go to React or see to the first boot option. Now, Ethernet controller not recognized, install driver automatically or custom. And now we, this is how it look the main window of the of the reactor OS operating system the main problem with this system is uh, i have uh, usb drives and wh when i external and i when i turn it on uh, this uh, operating system is not recognize usb drivers immediately this is old g41 chipset intel chipset and it should be recognized it immediately but it's not it's not and this is problem uh, with this operating system do not try to install drivers from usb okay now now he recognizes it sorry but he, it recognizes it the first time when i tried this is this operating system it's it was not recognized i don't know why okay and now you can i hope you can install drivers from this from some external usb stick or maybe hard drive okay i have uh, my original cd uh, for my main board and i will try to install drivers okay no automatic auto run i will go to manual now like you see it's not recognized my oh it's recognized it's it's here okay explore And now we'll see it. First, I would like to change resolution. Go to properties. Okay. Settings. Two. Now we will try if XZ. ISR set. This is Acer Rock mainboard. ISR setup. XZ okay it's like you see it cannot be run uh, I will try to install it by manual go to INIFI Intel setup XZ to see what will happen Ho ho ho! It's wrong. <laughs> Welcome to the setup program Intel chipset device software. Go to next, <laughs> next, next. Successfully install it. Okay. I will go to to install my audio drivers.
to see if I will get real tech high definition audio driver setup. <laughs> I don't know if this driver is working or not. Uh, it's very slow response on my, I must admit, very, very slow response. I will try to control alt, delete, task manager. It's almost the same running and task. Okay, but nothing is going to happen to you. Okay, I will try to restart to see if go any sound from this. Here, okay. Restart. Okay. Still we, we have no sound, if you go to properties, to hardware device manager you will see audio device, ethernet and many of other devices are not recognized, I don't know which one. Okay, from specific file I will try like to try to install by to see if we will install Ethernet controller like in Windows oh hey Okay, he found network drivers, go to control panel, network, system, hardware, device manager, real tech, okay, one device, have installed, now I will try to Okay, the, the stupid thing about uh, this operating system that do not have a web browser. Yes, it do not have. Now I will try to install something to find internet I must say this is very very slow operating system it, it uh, don't work out of the box like many of uh, Linux distribution this is a very big degradation for some Linux operating system this is very light operating system 93 megabytes but still it's not good enough very good idea to for some Linux operating system to have implement a 
Windows drivers and to, to have chance to install uh, software who is compatible with uh, Windows. But uh, still the main difference is supported only FAT uh, file system and not uh, NTFS file system. It's a big deal for some people and for speed of this operating system and uh, it's very it's small package but it's uh, very slow in the response after all try on your machine maybe it will work faster and better